<laughs> we are happy. Uh, we did that. And as you said, yeah, we have to pay country um, attention and do it um, in, a, in a good way. And uh, first half, I think it wasn't the standard uh, from Sir Bobby Charlton. But the second half was, was a bit better. But yeah, of course, the news um, arrived and we are very sad. And our thoughts are with his family, especially his, um, his wife, Lady Norma, with his children, with his grandchildren. I think, yeah, with his passing, yeah, a legend, a giant uh, passing away. Uh, his achievements are so immense and huge, uh, global. It's not only England, I think global. If you see the facts he achieved, uh, it's incredible. Uh, all his games, his titles, trophies, uh, the contribution he had with his goals. And then what I heard, I had never had the honor to meet them. But uh, what I heard, he was, uh, despite all his trophies and games, he was so humble and integral, so big personality. I think he's an example for all of us. Um, as a footballer, but also uh, in the society and global wide. I, I realise you were kind of had a, a football game to play, but when you when you found out when the when the squad found out, did it have any effect on your preparation? Uh, I, th I heard some some players uh, they got uh, inspiration from it, from it. Uh, they wanted uh, a win uh, to uh, to mark it. Um, so yeah. It, it, it was an extra motivation, absolutely. So when, I, when he retired, they told me I was born. So I saw it in the highlights. Uh, absolutely on behalf of the Manchester City family, uh, to his family, to Man United family, for EU, England football. So this type of football, football play as a personality is like represent English football like like anyone else can do it. So. Condolences for all of us, for his family especially, and uh, and I think uh, next next week when we will go there in Old Trafford, the first time like and uh, we will be present to make a, a first tribute. No, I, I love this country for many things, but one of the things how they take care of the legends of each club. You know, they are part of the club and they travel and they represent. And I think Sir Bobby Charlton represent United English football like anyone else. Well, it's just really sad news, isn't it? You know, I suppose we have realised that you know, Bobby hasn't been well for a while. We, uh, I was lucky enough to spend a reasonable amount of time in his company during the, a period of years, both with UEFA before coming back to the England job, and then, of course, with England when I made regular visits to Manchester United. So I, I did get to know he and Norma reasonably well. Um, and my thoughts really are with Norma and the family tonight. And, uh, I think the world of football will grieve Bobby Charlton and lift him on the pedestal that he really deserves to be lifted to. But it must be very tough because Bob and Norma is a big, a closely knit family, that, as I always thought anyway. I, I'm not a close personal family friend, but I always got the feeling that Bobby was a good family man and they were close, he and his wife. And, you know, it's hard then, I think, to, to lose someone, even though maybe. Uh, for a period of time, she's realised that Bob Bob was suffering from an illness. Um, but I'm pretty sure he'll get all the tributes that he really deserves, and there's a lot better people than me to pay tribute to him because I was lucky enough to, to meet him and you know, become acquainted with him. But it's the people really who play with him, work with him, who knew him intimately. They're the ones whose tributes really mean something. How special was he as a player? Well, I thought he was very special as a player. He had, had everything you're looking for in a midfield player, didn't he, really? I mean, wonderful pass with the ball, a wonderful strike with the ball. Uh, I don't remember him missing many games through injury. He seemed to me he was one of those unbelievably consistent players. But, of course, you really are just talking to someone who, as a young man, was lucky enough to watch him play on the TV, and I don't have that close uh, relationship either as a, as, a, as a friend or as someone who's played against him or, or with him. And I think that's where uh, a question like yours deserves a better answer than I could give. Yes, I am really sad. I think I want to send my best wishes to the family. Um, uh, yes, I think it was a, 
big impact when we receive the, the new. Um, we lose a, an amazing person. Uh, he was one of the greatest players in the world. And yes, we are, we are going to miss, miss him because he was an icon for, for our love of the sport, no? for football. Really sad news, but I think he leaves us um, in, in, in the best position that you can be as a footballer, the values that he transmitted, the quality and how he changed English football, how he changed um, international football, the appreciation that he had and the love that he had for everybody, the respect that he had for everybody. So obviously he already had legacy, but I think that's going to be beyond what he already had. So rest in peace and I think everybody appreciate and I love what he did for this game. Yes, uh, very, very sad news for his family and for football absolute icon of the game uh, here in England and what he did for his country and for Manchester United. Um, I was certainly made very aware of him at a very young age and was fortunate to meet him a couple of times. Uh, incredible guy. Uh, what a man and a real sad loss for football. Yeah, a few times, yeah. He was there. I was with him the day I signed as a 14-year-old, yeah. So, yeah, he's a, a man that represented everything. I think that United wanted to, to be. Uh, in terms of certainly like the thing I felt in terms of developing youth players, um, getting youth players into the first team, obviously the success. Yeah, but I think it's not only Manchester United that, that, that will miss him, English football, and I think he was a, a football icon across the world as well. So there'll be a lot of people remembering stories about him, games he's played in, what they've seen, I think, in the, in the next few days.